Alrighty guys, welcome back. So we know how to create invoices, we know how to get paid and record it, but say we messed up and we need to refund a customer uh, a check that we've already deposited into our business banking account. Here's how we do it. From the top right, click on this plus sign right up here. Create sales receipts, refund receipts. And it's gonna start out by us selecting which customer. We've got three customers in here, Buckshot Roberts, Freddy Krueger, John Struggle. You can click on anyone, make sure you have their email set up. Uh, how do we wanna refund them? I'm gonna cut them a check from our business banking account. And what are we gonna refund them? I'm going to refund them <laughs> our bronze package. Uh, we screwed up so hard on our full car wash with two layers wax coating that we need to pay them back. We need to refund them in full. So $30 right over here. Maybe you want to do a discount. You don't want to refund them the whole thing. That's where you play around right here. Um, but we do. And what we're going to do is we're just going to save this. And there should be an option of where did we send it? Okay, so it did it for us. Refund successfully issued. Now I'm gonna go back to, let's go back to our sales report and let's see if it shows up on this end. Let's go to customers. And who'd we do it to? Which one was it? Was it Buckshot? No, strike one. Was it Freddy Krueger or was it John Struggle? Uh-oh. Was it John, which one did we click on? Not that it matters. There it is. Here's our refund. Refunded. Today's date over here, paid. And that's it. It is recorded. That is how you successfully log in a refund in your QuickBooks online. Good luck with this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.